God is saying to you today, make sure you watch the whole video. Before we start, like and share the video, so that this message reaches more souls in need. My beloved child, I hope you have believed me that you are ready to witness and receive gigantic and beautiful miracles, I want to see it, dare to tell me that you believe, now that you have heard my words, let them take root deep within your soul, I want you to understand that the path ahead, though it may be challenging, is one I have laid out specifically for you, every step you take, every decision you make, is part of a grander plan that I have crafted with care and precision. Trust in this plan, even when it seems unclear or overwhelming. Remember, I see the end from the beginning, and what may appear as a detour or delay to you is, in fact, a necessary part of your journey. There are moments when the weight of the world may feel too heavy, and in those moments, I want you to lean into my strength, not your own. Your human strength is limited, but my power is infinite, like the roots of a great tree that grow deeper and stronger in the face of the storm. I am making you resilient, unshakable, able to withstand whatever comes your way, do not be afraid of the trials that come, for they are refining you, making you into the person I created you to be. You see, every challenge is like the fire that purifies gold. Removing the impurities and leaving behind something of greater value, I'm using these experiences to shape you, to mold you into a vessel that can carry my light into the world, the brighter the light the greater the darkness it can dispel, so do not fear the darkness, instead, shine brighter, knowing that I am with you, guiding you, and empowering you to overcome, remember that I am always near, closer than you can imagine. Like and share the video if you have trust in the words of the God, subscribe to the channel if you love Jesus. You are never alone, not even for a moment. When you feel lost, turn to me, and I will show you the way. When you feel weak, call out to me, and I will be your strength. I am the compass that will guide you through the storm, the anchor that will hold you steady when the waves crash against you. And know this, I have already prepared the victory for you. The battles you face are not meant to defeat you but to demonstrate my power through you. You are more than a conqueror, not because of your own abilities, but because I fight for you, with me by your side, no weapon formed against you will prosper, the outcome has already been decided, and it is in your favor, walk forward with confidence. Knowing that I have already won the battle, I want you to feel the certainty of my protection surrounding you like a fortress. When the winds of doubt and fear try to shake your foundation, remember that I am the rock upon which you stand, unmovable, eternal. No force, no power in this world or beyond, can penetrate the shield I have placed around you. Your enemies may gather and their voices may rise against you. But they will fall one by one before my presence, for I am your refuge, your stronghold, a safe place where no harm can touch you. Every time you face a challenge, every time you encounter resistance, see it not as a sign of failure but as proof of your progress. The closer you get to the fulfillment of my promises, the more the forces that oppose you will try to distract you, to turn you away from the path I have set, type 111 if you believe in Jesus, but I tell you, remain steadfast, just as a tree grows stronger with each gust of wind, so too will your faith grow with each trial you overcome, you are being prepared for something far greater than what you see now. Something that requires the strength and resilience you are developing, do not be swayed by the voices of those who do not understand your journey. 
They may try to pull you back into the shadows from which you have emerged, but I have called you into the light, you no longer belong to the darkness, you are a child of the light, and with that comes a responsibility to walk in truth, to live in love, and to stand firm in faith, when others turn away, when they reject you or dismiss you, know that it is not you they reject but me, and I will deal with them in my time, in my way. You need only to keep your eyes on me, trusting that I am. Leading you where you need to go, you may not always understand the path I have chosen for you, but that is where your faith comes into play, faith is not about seeing the entire road ahead. It is about taking the next step, even when you cannot see where it leads, it is about trusting that my hand is guiding you, that I am walking with you every step of the way, and as you continue on this journey, you will begin to see my hand in everything, in every detail, in every encounter, in every moment, nothing is by chance, everything is part of the divine design I have for your life. I've already gone before you, clearing the way, preparing the ground, what you see as obstacles are. Merely opportunities for my power to be displayed in your life, do not be afraid of the mountains that stand before you, I have given you the strength to climb them, and when you reach the top, you will look back and see how every step, every struggle, was leading you to a higher place, to a greater understanding of my love and purpose for you. I want you to recognize the immense value that you hold in my eyes. You are not just another soul among many, you are unique, crafted with purpose, and loved beyond measure. Type Amen in the name of Jesus. The world may try to define your worth by its own flawed standards. But remember that your value is not determined by human judgment. I have paid the highest price for you, a price that no one else could ever pay. This alone should remind you of how precious you are to me, when you are tempted to compare yourself to others, to measure your worth against what they have or what they do, stop and remember that I created you with a specific purpose in mind, no one else can fulfill the role that I have designed for you. Your journey is yours alone, and it is a journey that will lead you to the fulfillment of my promises if you trust me and stay the course. Do not allow envy or insecurity to cloud your vision. You are more than enough exactly as you are because I am with you. There will be times when you feel overwhelmed by the weight of your calling, when the road ahead seems too difficult to bear. In those moments, I want you to remember that I am your strength. You do not have to carry this burden alone. Just as a shepherd carries his sheep, I will carry you when you are weary, lean on me, and I will give you rest. I will renew your spirit, refresh your soul, and fill you with the courage to keep moving forward. Do not be afraid to reach out to me, to speak to me to share with me the deepest longings and fears of your heart. I am not distant or unapproachable, I am near. Closer than your very breath, I hear every whisper, every prayer, even the ones you struggle to put into words, and I respond not just with answers but with a love that transcends understanding. Type, yes, if you are ready for the blessings that you are about to receive, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks, from $50 to $100, I am with you always, and my presence is your greatest assurance that you are never alone, in the days to come, you will see my hand move in ways that will astonish you. I am not limited by time, by circumstances, or by human expectations, my power knows no bounds. And I delight in doing the impossible for those who believe in me. But remember, the miracles I perform are not for show, 
They are expressions of my love and power, meant to draw you closer to me, to deepen your faith, and to reveal my glory. As you experience these miracles, do not forget the source of your blessings. It is easy to become caught up in the gifts and forget the giver, but I want you to keep your eyes on me. Let your gratitude flow from a heart that is focused on my love, not just my provision, and as you receive, remember to give, to bless. Others with the abundance I pour into your life, for it is in giving that you will find even greater joy and fulfillment. I want you to embrace the fullness of what I have in store for you. The blessings that I am preparing are not just for your benefit but for the benefit of those around you. You are a vessel through which my love and grace will flow to others. When I bless you, it is so that you may become a blessing to many. Understand that your life has a ripple effect, touching others in ways you may not even realize. Every act of kindness, every word of encouragement, every prayer you offer in my name carries with it the power to transform lives. You may not always see the impact you are having, but trust that I am using you in ways that are far beyond your comprehension. Just as a single drop of water creates ripples that extend across an entire pond, so too does your faithfulness create waves of change that reach further than you can imagine. Do not underestimate the significance of your actions, no matter how small they may seem, each step of obedience, each moment of faith, is part of a much larger plan that I'm unfolding in and through your life, type, I embrace my power, to affirm. There will be times when you are called to step out in faith, to take risks that seem daunting. In those moments, remember that I am with you, guiding you, and that nothing is impossible with me. Just as the eagle spreads its wings and soars high above the earth, carried by the wind, so too will you rise above the challenges you face, lifted by my spirit. Do not be afraid to take that leap of faith, for I am the wind beneath your wings, and I will carry you to heights you never thought possible. The higher you go, the clearer your vision will become. You will begin to see things from my perspective. To understand the bigger picture of what I am doing in your life, the things that once seemed overwhelming will appear small and insignificant when viewed from the heights to which I am taking you. You will see that the obstacles you feared were nothing more than stepping stones placed there to elevate you to the next level of your journey. And as you soar, do not forget those who are still struggling on the ground, reach out to them, lift them up, and help them to see the potential within themselves. You are not called to walk this path alone, you are part of a greater community a family of believers who are all journeying together toward the same destination. Support one another, encourage one another, and share the blessings that I have given you. Remember, too, that the journey is not always about speed, there will be times when you need to pause, to rest, and to reflect on how far you have come. These moments of rest are not wasted time, they are essential for your growth and renewal, type, I'm abundant, to affirm. Just as the land needs time to lie fallow before it can produce a bountiful harvest, so too do you need moments of stillness to prepare for the next season of fruitfulness. In these quiet times, draw near to me, and I will fill you with my peace, my strength, and my wisdom for the journey ahead. Understand that every season has its purpose. There are times for sowing and times for reaping, times for building and times for waiting. Do not rush the process, for there is a divine timing in all things. Just as the farmer waits patiently for the harvest, knowing that the seeds planted will eventually bear fruit, so too must you trust in my timing. 
the delays you experience are not denials but are preparing you for the fullness of what I have promised. Patience is a virtue that strengthens your spirit and deepens your faith in ways that nothing else can. In the moments of waiting, allow yourself to grow in wisdom and understanding. Use this time to draw closer to me, to seek my face, and to Listen to my voice, I am always speaking, but it is in the stillness, in the quiet moments, that you will hear me most clearly. My wisdom is like a deep well, the more you draw from it, the more you will find. Let your roots grow deep in my word, for it will sustain you through every season of your life. The deeper your roots, the stronger you will stand when the storms come, and when the time is right, you will see the fruits of your labor, the harvest will come, and it will be abundant, far beyond what you could have imagined. But remember, the fruits are not just for you, they are to be shared, I have blessed you so that you may be a blessing to others. As you give, you will receive even more, this is the law of my kingdom, the more you pour out, the more you will be filled, like and share the video if you have trust in the words of the God, subscribe to the channel if you love Jesus. It is in giving that you will find true joy and fulfillment, do not hold back in fear or selfishness, for I am your provider, and my resources are limitless, trust that as you give, I will supply all your needs according to my riches in glory. You are not called to live in lack or scarcity but in abundance. This abundance is not just material, it is an abundance of love, peace, joy, and purpose. These are the true treasures of my kingdom, treasures that no one can take from you, as you. Walk in this abundance, let it be a testimony to others of my goodness and faithfulness. Your life is a reflection of my glory, a living testimony of what I can do in and through those who trust in me. Let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. You are a beacon of hope, a vessel of my grace, and through you, many will come to know me and experience my love. Know that I am with you every step of the way. I have gone before you to prepare the way. And I walk beside you as your constant companion, you are never alone. And you never will be, my love for you is eternal, unchanging, and immeasurable, rest in that love, knowing that nothing can separate you from it, not height nor depth, nor any other power. Can come between us, you are mine, and I am yours forever. Let my love be the foundation of everything you do, let it guide your thoughts, your actions, and your interactions with others. My love is not merely a feeling, it is a force, a power that can transform even the hardest of hearts. Type 777 to show your belief in Jesus. When you allow my love to flow through you, it brings healing, restoration, and peace to every situation. It is through love that you will conquer the challenges. Ahead, for love is the greatest of all virtues, the most powerful weapon in your spiritual arsenal. When you encounter difficult people or challenging circumstances, remember that it is love that will overcome. Love those who are hard to love, for in doing so, you reflect my heart. It is easy to love those who love you. But true strength lies in loving those who have wronged you, those who misunderstand you, and those who stand against you. This kind of love is not of this world, it comes from me, and it is through this love that you will shine the brightest. Do not be discouraged when your love is not immediately returned or recognized. Love is not about getting something in return, it is about giving just as I have given to you. My love for you is unconditional, and I call you to love others with that same selfless love. As you do, 
you will find that your own heart grows stronger, more resilient, and more attuned to my spirit, the more you give, the more you will be filled, for my love is a never-ending stream that flows from my heart to yours, in moments of uncertainty, when you are unsure of what to do or where to turn, let love be your guide, ask yourself, what would love do? And you will find the answer, love always seeks the best for others, always forgives, always hopes, and always perseveres. It is patient and kind, not envious, boastful, or proud. When you live in love, you live in me, for I am love. And when you live in me, you are never alone, never without hope, never without purpose. The world may try to tell you that love is weak, that it is naive or foolish, but I tell you, love is the greatest power in existence. It was love that brought you into being, love that sustains you, and love that will carry you through to the end. Type 999 to manifest miracles in your life. Never underestimate the power of love. For it is the very essence of who I am and who you are called to be. Let love be the banner that you carry, the song that you sing, the light that you shine in the darkness. As you embrace this love, you will begin to see the world through my eyes, you will see the beauty in every soul. The potential in every heart, and the possibility for redemption in every life, no one is beyond my reach, and no one is beyond my love. I'm calling you to be my hands and feet, to carry this love to the farthest corners of the earth, to the people and places that need it most. This is your mission, your purpose, and I will be with you every step of the way, equipping you, empowering you, and surrounding you with my love. I have placed others around you, companions on the same path who share in this calling. Together, you form a body, each with a unique role, each contributing to the whole, just as the human body has many parts, each with its own function, so too does my body, the body of believers. You are all connected, interdependent, and together you reflect my fullness to the world. Value the relationships I have placed in your life, for they are not by chance. Each person you encounter, each bond you form, is part of my divine plan. Encourage one another, build each other up, and carry each other's burdens. In doing so, you fulfill the law of love. There will be times when you will need the strength and support of others, and times when they will need yours. This mutual support is a gift. A reflection of my love working through you to meet the needs of others. When you face difficulties, do not isolate yourself. Type, yes, if you are ready for the blessings that you are about to receive, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks, from $50 to $100. Reach out to those I have placed in your life. Allow them to speak truth into your situation, to pray with you, to stand with you in faith. There is great power in unity, in coming together in my name, for where two or three are gathered, there I am in the midst of them. In these moments of fellowship, my presence will be tangible. My peace will be overwhelming, and my guidance will be clear. Be mindful, too, of the words you speak to others. Your words carry weight, they have the power to build up or tear down, to heal or to wound. Let your words be seasoned with grace, filled with kindness and understanding. Speak life into the lives of those around you, for words are seeds that will bear fruit in their time. What you sow in love, you will reap in abundance. Be a source of encouragement, a beacon of hope, a voice. Of truth in a world that so often speaks in darkness and despair. 
There will be moments when your path intersects with those who are hurting, those who are lost, and those who feel they have no hope. I want you to be my light in their darkness, to offer them the hope that can only be found in me. Do not underestimate the impact you can have on a single life. A word spoken in love, a gesture of kindness, a prayer, offered in faith can change the course of a person's life. You may not see the full impact of your actions, but trust that I am working through. You in ways you cannot even imagine, and as you pour out my love to others, I will continue to pour into you. My love is inexhaustible, never-ending, and the more you give, the more you will receive. Let this flow of love be like a river, constantly moving, constantly refreshing, bringing life wherever it goes. Do not hold back, for there is no limit to what I can do through a heart that is fully surrendered to me, a heart that is willing to love without conditions, without fear, and without reservation. Know that in all of this, I am with you, I have gone before you, I walk beside you, and I will bring up the rear. Ensuring that nothing is lost, type 111 if you believe in Jesus. Trust in my presence, rely on my strength, and be confident in my love. You are never alone, for I am your God and you are my beloved. Let your heart remain open to the lessons I am teaching you along the way. Life is not a straight path, it is a winding road, filled with unexpected turns, challenges, and opportunities for growth. Embrace each moment, knowing that I am using every experience to shape you into the person I created you to be. There is nothing wasted in my plan. Every joy, every sorrow, every victory, and every setback is part of the greater story I am writing in your life. Sometimes the lessons I teach you will come through hardship, through the refining fires of trial and adversity. These are not meant to harm you but to purify you, to remove the impurities that hinder you from becoming all that you are meant to be, just as gold is refined in the furnace, so too will your faith be purified, your character strengthened, and your purpose clarified. Trust that I am with you in the fire, that I will not let it consume you, but instead, I will use it to bring forth something beautiful and enduring. In these times of testing, it is easy to feel overwhelmed, to wonder if you have the strength to endure, but I want you to remember that my grace is sufficient for you. When you are weak, then you are strong, because my power is made perfect in your weakness. You do not have to rely on your own strength. For I am your strength, lean into me, and I will carry you through. Type Amen in the name of Jesus. I will give you the endurance you need, the patience to wait, and the faith to trust that I am working all things together for your good. Let go of the need to control every aspect of your life. Surrender to my will, for my plans for you are far greater than anything you could imagine for yourself. I see the end from the beginning, and I know the path that will lead you to the fulfillment of your purpose. There will be times when you do not understand, when the way seems dark and the future uncertain, in those moments, trust in my heart, trust in my love, and trust that I am guiding you. Even when you cannot see the way forward, allow me to mold you, to shape you according to my design. This process may be uncomfortable at times, as I remove the rough edges and reshape areas of your life that do not align with my will but know that I am doing this out of love because I see the masterpiece that you are becoming. You are my workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which I prepared in advance for you to do. Do not resist my hand, instead, yield to my shaping, 
knowing that the finished product will be something far more beautiful and perfect than you can comprehend. Hope is the anchor for your soul, firm and secure, keeping you steady in the midst of life's storms. This hope is not wishful thinking but a confident expectation of the good things I have promised you. Hold on to this hope. Even when everything around you seems to be falling apart, for I am faithful, and I will fulfill my promises. To you in due time, let this hope sustain you, giving you the strength to persevere and the courage to face whatever lies ahead. As you hold on to this hope, let it illuminate the path before you. Guiding you through the uncertainties and challenges that lie ahead, hope is not just a distant dream but a living, breathing force that propels you forward, giving you the courage to take the next step even when the way is unclear. This hope is anchored in me, in my promises, in my unchanging nature. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever, and my plans for you are good plans to give you a future filled with hope. In this journey, you will encounter moments where doubt tries to creep. In, where the whispers of the enemy attempt to sow seeds of fear and uncertainty in your heart, like and share the video if you have trust in the words of the God, subscribe to the channel if you love Jesus. But I remind you to fix your eyes on me, to keep your focus on the truth of my word, and to stand firm in the faith that I have placed within you. Doubt may come, but it does not have to take root, it is a fleeting shadow, dispelled by the light of my presence and the truth of who I am. Let your faith be your shield, protecting you from the arrows of doubt that seek to pierce your soul. Faith is not just believing when things are easy but trusting in me when the road is hard and the future seems uncertain. It is in these moments of testing that your faith is refined, becoming stronger, more resilient, and more deeply rooted in me. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, it is the foundation upon which you stand the anchor that holds you firm amidst the storms of life. As you walk by faith, not by sight, you will begin to see my hand in every detail of your life. The small, seemingly insignificant moments are often where I am doing my greatest work, do. Not despise the day of small beginnings, for it is in these humble starts that I lay the groundwork for the great things to come, Trust in my timing, for it is perfect, and know that I am orchestrating every aspect of your life according to my divine plan. There will be times when you are called to step out of your comfort zone, to move into places that are unfamiliar and even uncomfortable. These are the moments when your faith will be stretched, when you will need to rely on me more than ever before. Do not fear these steps, for I am with you. I have already gone before you to prepare the way, and I will be with you every step of the journey. The path may be narrow, and the way may be steep, but I am your guide, your protector, and your provider. Type, I embrace my power, to affirm. In these moments of stepping out, remember that you are not alone. I have placed others on this path with you companions who will walk alongside you. Offering support, encouragement, and prayer, lean on them just as they will lean on you. Together you are stronger, more resilient, and more capable of fulfilling the calling I have placed on your lives. The journey is not meant to be walked alone, it is a shared experience, one where you will grow, learn, and become more like me through your interactions with others. Let your heart be filled with joy. Joy is not dependent on your circumstances. It is a deep, abiding sense of contentment and peace that comes from knowing you are in my hands, that I am in control, and that my plans for you are good. This joy is your strength, enabling you to face each day with confidence and courage, knowing that you are loved, 
cherished, and guided by me, let this joy be a constant companion, a light in the darkest of times, a reminder that no matter what happens, you are deeply loved and cared for by me. Joy is not just a fleeting emotion but a profound state of being that comes from knowing that you are secure in my love and purpose. It is a wellspring that bubbles up from within, refreshing your soul and giving you the strength to persevere through whatever challenges you may face. Even when the world around you seems bleak, this joy will sustain you, carrying you through the valleys and leading you to the mountaintops. As you carry this joy within you, it will overflow into the lives of those around you, others will see the light in your eyes, the peace in your spirit, and they will be drawn to it. This joy is contagious, it spreads and multiplies as you share it with others. In a world filled with pain and suffering, your joy will stand out as a beacon of hope, a eh? Testament to the power of my love working in your life, do not be afraid to let your joy be seen, it is a gift from me, meant to be shared with the world, but remember, joy does not mean the absence of pain. There will be times when you will walk through difficult seasons, when sorrow and hardship will come, type, I'm abundant, to affirm, in these times, hold on to your joy, for it is in these very moments that it becomes most powerful. Joy in the midst of suffering is a declaration of faith, a statement that you trust in my goodness even when circumstances say otherwise. It is a choice to believe that I am working all things together for your good, even when you cannot see how. In these difficult seasons, I am especially close to you, I am the one who catches every tear, who feels every ache of your heart, I do not abandon you in your pain, I walk with you through it, offering comfort, strength, and peace, there is no pain too deep, no sorrow too great that I cannot heal, bring your burdens to me, lay them at my feet, and allow me to carry them for you, as you trust in me. You will see how I bring beauty from the ashes of your life, how I turn mourning into dancing and sorrow into joy. What may seem like the end is often just the beginning of something new and beautiful that I am creating in your life. Trust in my timing and know that I am working. Even when you cannot see it, I am the God of redemption, and I will restore to you what has been lost making it even more beautiful and meaningful than before, continue to walk in faith, hope, and love, and let these be the guiding principles of your life, faith to believe in what you cannot see, hope to endure through the challenges, and love to carry you and those around you through every trial, these three will sustain you, guide you, and lead you to the fulfillment of all that I have promised, and through it all, know that I am with you every step of the way, cheering you on, lifting you up, and carrying you forward into the glorious future I have prepared for you, take care of yourself. Type, I claim it, if you receive this declaration, type, yes, if you're ready and share this video with five people who trust God, comment, Jesus is Lord, to support our channel, please subscribe to our channel and turn on bell notifications, type 777 if you believe this, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you believe in God, type I really love you God. And if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks, from $50 to $100, God bless you my child, type Amen.